don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again. We are now building stage three of the Death Stinger. This is the oversized Zord model, Scorpion. And we're looking today at building parts of the tail. Part three doesn't seem to be horribly long, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm just looking at it backwards or something. But we begin with two, I'm sorry, this is H8 and this is H5. This is part U2, N9, and N8. We're going to start building off of N8. And basically what we do here is we bring this part in. It's going to theoretically come over top of it here and I can't tell exactly where this crud is supposed to be but apparently it's not right there <laughs> y'all can tell when I don't do this ahead of time can't you alright so yeah that'll that'll move for us as we need it to just not very happily I can't tell. Uh, it looks like it looks like it should be here to the front, like this. So before I put it too deep in here, we'll look at it. This one here looks like it goes in here, and there's a slot for it. So. We know that one will go right there like that. Okay. Now we need... Where is... N1? I don't seem to have N1. Well, right here is N1. So, I hadn't planned on cutting these off the sprue on camera. But better to do it now and have it done so we know what's going on and if I haven't mentioned it once in this video which I haven't because I just started this video always clean your part always clean your part that way it moves smoothly and freely within its allocated section there alright now this big old part right here Looking at the directions, it would appear that it goes in like this, and then on down. That's why we were curious, because there was a slot cut into this bit right here, the N1. Now, this piece right here looks like it just comes over and sits like this. The only th remaining thing to do is to marry these pieces like this. Make sure they're all good and squoze together. All right, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good there. The next stage has effectively the same parts but we connect them to this so what happens here we have N5 which is this one and it comes in like this and no it does not use a uh, thing until we get up here to this bit which we do the same thing we put this piece H10 into N4 just like that come up here 
and we bring in part U1, stick it in right there, and then we just marry these two bits here together like this, right here. Let me back out a tinch. And the final bit in this first stage, we're basically doing the very same thing again. We are going to take this bit, which is N, this bit, which is N3, and we're going to take H11, put it in here, line it up, and get that in there like that. This bit is going to come over here, as we have done previously, and in like this. This bit comes over and in, and lastly, we marry these two pieces right here. And this represents the entirety of stage three, part one. So when we're, when we're looking at stage three, section two, we're basically adding what my youngest daughter would call bling to the tail. And here's the tail we assembled in stage one. We take these parts here and they're E parts and they're 10, three, and two. Basically they just fit in here, the old slot in the back of the tail section here. We just add these in, snap them in, and we get bling on the tail. Now these parts right here, uh, these are C1s and they're uh, C11, C3, and C6. And these just clip over this little bit right here at least theoretically. Uh, maybe I've got it backwards. There we go, like that. That's how that's gonna work. So the top part points up. Okay, that would mean that this one will go on right here. And they are different sizes. So, smallest, middle, largest. Just like that. Now there is another stage to section three, part two, and that's putting on uh, pieces from the D, as in David, sprue here. And these come in various sizes. Let me just slip in right like this at least theoretically. I guess that one would be this one. Okay, get in there. I might have it backwards. Yeah, see that one went right in there, just like that. Which means I need one more here. There. And that's what that looks like with the bling. Somebody could come along with some uh, lighting for this, a lighting kit, and it would be phenomenal. This thing would be just beautiful if it was, you know, lit up like the, the Enterprise model that I've been building of late. Squeeze everything together. And here is the finished product for stage three, part two. Everything we're doing here is just to help build the tail. So we're going to come back with 3.3 with a new piece, but it's not going to go on here until later. Actually looking at it, 
looks like stage three, section three, all the way through stage three eight are the same thing. So I'll I'll do one and we'll take a look at it. So for stage three three, uh, we have part M nine. B1 and C1 and basically all we do here is we stick this piece in here like this so it sticks out like that flip it over take this piece right here and it's got pins and ports and we just connect it all together until it forms this and this works what, what's going to happen here is we, we build these and then we bring in our tail that we've been working on. And this is actually part of stage 3.8. But what happens here is this thing is supposed to come in here like this and sit over top of it. And I don't rightly see how at the moment. Oh, uh, I'm missing a part. There's a part that, that covers up here and it's from the W sprue. Just a moment and I will get that. So I have part W9 and it has a notch in it right here. That is going to come in and sit in between these like this and then this will come over like this and it'll stay in place just like that so all these stages are the same they're just different parts to build this and then this part so I'll go ahead and I will just assemble it and show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like with the completion of stage 3, section 8. And these open up to reveal that. Looks very nice. Why don't we go ahead and move on to 3.9. So for stage 3.9, we're looking at a couple of different pieces. This is uh, part N7. This is N6. This is... U8 and U10 respectively. Now what we need to do is connect these two together here like this. Make sure it's nice and together. Then we take parts U9 and U11 and we do the very same thing just ports and pins Connecting together, marrying home the way that they're supposed to, just like this. Now, these are going to actually go into these parts here as we pull this out. So, this is going to come in, and I'm trying to figure out exactly where this connects to and I think it connects right here maybe no this one goes right here this is this piece and this one comes in right here like this this then comes in right here working it in and this We'll marry up to it. Tell you what, <clears throat> I'm going to take these off for the moment. I'm going to work this until it goes all the way in. And there we go, like that. That's the way you want it. <clears throat> Pardon me. We'll put these back in. And then we will take this piece here and just connect everything together the way that it should go 
together. There. Squeeze it like that. And here. Is what the top of the gun looks like. You can't see it. Here is what the top of the gun looks like. Top of the stinger. Now the next thing we do is we bring in a bunch of these G parts. There's actually eight of them. And we put them in right here. And they will recess a little bit. So be mindful of that. I don't know if I mentioned that the last time we used this part, that they will actually recess. Now, I know this is a much, much in the future video from when I was a kid, but when I was a kid, these little parts here would be a soft rubber. These really aren't that. And you just connected your pieces together with them and they held. So that's, that's something different and new. Now, we have, the last thing we do is the gun barrel. And this comes in, let's see, I'm trying to figure out exactly how. I believe it is just like this. And it should pair together. These are U7 parts and U3 parts. And here is the tail with the gun, and that represents stage 3, part 9. We only have 13 stages, uh, 13 steps in this stage. So we're going to move on to what is effectively more bling for the tail in 10. So stage 3, part 10, has multiple parts to it. We're going to begin by looking at part E14 and W21. And these are basically going to go over the barrel here. And do just like this. And make that look like that. So that's, that's awful pretty. The next stage deals with... Uh, parts W, 23, 22, 24, uh, 2 of 24's, 12, 11, 17, and 18. And basically we're just filling in parts through here. So I'll do one side and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then we'll do the other one. So these smaller pieces can be extremely challenging for me. This is part uh, W17. This is part... W12 and right up here is part W24 and right here is part W23. And as I have mentioned these little parts can be extremely challenging for me. I'm sure other people won't have any trouble at all but this is this is, is concerning. These things do not stay on the way you expect them to. That goes in there. This one right here comes in right here theoretically. Hmm. Hmm. This is why I go ahead and I I knock one of these out before uh, trying to do this on camera because it can be extremely challenging to get these little bitty parts into these sections where they belong. Yes, challenging is the word I shall use here. All right, I just have one more to go. And this one just plugs in here. So this should be 
relatively simple theoretically. It should just go in, take my spudger, and push it the rest of the way. And there we go. And there we have completed stage three, part ten. We will continue to add more bling in stage three, part eleven. So for stage thirteen, uh, I'm sorry, stage three, step eleven, we're going to be using parts E18 and E19, which are these little circular round bits right here. We're also going to be looking for D1s, which are uh, these two. This is part two. There's four of them. There's two of these, four of these. Next, we're going to be looking for a D7 and D8. That's these right here. And then we're going to look at E20. So I've gone ahead and I have installed one side of it. And all we're just doing more bling here. And you can see right here is how the E18 goes on. Here are the uh, D12s. This is the uh, D8 and this is the E20 right here. So you can see how it really makes the gun stand out. And I mean it, it's not horribly complicated to do. Now in my instance I'm not sure if it's correct or not but I put the uh, little circle bar pointing backwards. Again, I don't know if that's correct. Can you all see the distinction there? I don't know if it's correct, but I liked it better. Now, for the uh, these little bits right here, using my tweezers, they can only go in one place here and that's right there where you see those holes so you just bring them in line them up push them into place and it is that easy hardest part about it is keeping your part oriented properly on your tweezers and not having your tweezers squeeze too hard and it just comes in lines up and it's that simple it really is this next bit you just bring in put it in there just holds in with friction and the last bit is where I, I would imagine if you're gonna have trouble you're gonna have it this thing is apparently angled in some way this little gold bit right here <laughs> it also is not happy about being manipulated what I discovered on the other side was I played with it for a while but getting it in the back section and then kinda of scooting it forward was what worked for me so I'm gonna try one more time here to do it on camera that you all can see it's in there now and it's just a matter of pushing it into place just like that and that represents the entirety of stage 3 step 11 stage 3 uh, step 12 requires us basically to build this And this is how we do it. We take parts, I. it all comes off the eye sprue. I-15 and 16. And we just marry these together. You know, normal stuff, pin and port. Nothing surprising here. Just push together until it's nice and tight and forms one of the barrels. Then we take this piece right here, which is I-3. And we marry that with I-24. Now the directions show 
I-24 has little clips on it as you can see. It shows them going down just like that. This comes in yeah it is and it goes if I remember right oh, I'm sorry it goes uh, down like this okay so it's supposed to look like this and then we marry this piece to it pins and ports ports and pins we know the drill at this point make sure things nice and squeezed together and here we have the second gun that mates with the first and that represents stage three step 12 just stage uh, just step 13 and 14 left and then we're done with this stage so for stage three step 14 Basically what we're doing is we're going to take these parts right here and we're going to attach them to this to make it look like this. That's really all there is to this stage. So I have discovered it's easier to go with the smaller ones first. This is part E1 e and it just slips over the barrel here which is easier said than done but it is possible. And then we take part S7 and we just affix it, he says, to the barrel here. Now what I had to do with the last one was actually shave just a little bit off, just enough to get it started it's a very very tight fit here but here we go and that's what that one looks like now this step's pretty easy you just find the the grooves here on piece e1 14 this first time we've used an e1 and you just slide it on there as far as it go then you take your part s8 stick it on there and that is the entirety of part uh, step stage three, part 13. One more to go. Stage three, part 14 is another one of those assembly stages. And what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take part C2, number three, and we're going to fit it over here. And there's a pin right here that's going to go into that port right there that you can see. It just comes over and goes in and just kind of attaches like that. Now we take one of these pieces which is either C29 or C210 and looking at the picture basically what's going to happen is this is going to come up and come under and attach right here kind of like this. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to mention this I'm probably going to add a drop of glue right here just to keep these attached because it's starting to annoy me that they, they just fall off whenever they just so desire. A drop of glue won't hurt it. But next we also need one of these guns that we just made and we bring it in and it will hook over this weapon port here then we take this piece and we just attach it through here until it lines up and you squeeze it together. Once more, we take this piece, we take this piece, which is uh, C29, line it up properly. And we just put together. And now we have guns that look like this. The final step to this stage is we take C7, and this is on uh, both of them. 
both there's two C's and if you notice there are holes here that are going to line up with this let me see if I can figure out exactly how it goes if the directions show properly it goes like this and it should just you should just be able theoretically to push it on again com completely theoretically of course this might actually be easier to do with the gun off so I'll tell you what because it's being persnickety and you you all know I don't care for persnickety-ness hmm So that one is now on. It's also entirely possible that I have the guns on the wrong side. So with that in mind, I'll take this one off. And we'll put this one on here. I'll bring my piece back in here. Line it up. Squeeze it all together. Although I have to tell you, that can't be right. Because it can't move. It's got to come in with this pointing up. So there's two possibilities. One is, no matter how I do this, it's going to be backwards. I believe I have to undo this and flip that. Okay. So I will undo this to this point. Just enough, hopefully, to where I can get this off. And just flip it around like this. Oh, crud. Um, This is where better directions would be much appreciated. Now, this should go hopefully like this. I think I turned it. Look folks, you know my motto, you see me struggling with it, there's a good chance you're going to as well. I think when I flipped it, I put it right back in the same way, is what I think. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't believe I am in this instance. Okay, now, it should work. Yes. Alright, so that's how it's supposed to look. I know this because this is how it will butt up here. And this will come in, securing it hopefully into place with the final bit being this part, which is B3. That will come in here and you just got to line everything up and push it into place and that's what it will look like all together so I'm not sure if there's any real reason to make you all go through that again um, having said that looks like I got that one on correctly I'm kinda hoping this is the only uh, the last thing I have to do to the tail, hopefully, because honestly, I'm getting kind of tired of it. It's not 
it's not bad, don't misunderstand me. It's just, I want to move on to something else. This has taken a while, and I know the devil's in the details and all that, but if I may use a cliche. But now, as far as I know, the tail is done. Because this is the last little bit we have to do before we move on to stage four. I do. I think I will uh, just put just the smallest drop of glue in here in each one of these just to keep it from falling off. I think I'll do that. Alright. Uh, I don't know if this will end this video or not. If it does, then I'll see you on the next one. If it doesn't, then we'll move on to stage four. It really just depends on how long this has gotten. So before we get too deep into step four, I wanted to take just a moment and review some of the pieces that we have. We have this piece right here, which uh, has the driver in it, if you remember. This piece comes up and our, our driver's right in here. Nice little piece. We have this piece of the body right here. Again, nice little piece. And lastly, we have the piece of the tail. And I did go ahead and I glued in these pieces. So, before anybody makes any comments, uh, they're uh, longer on one end than on the other, and one end slips in. But even with it that way, it still was coming loose. So, yeah, I went ahead and I glued them in. Just this part, these, these all still open and everything. Yeah, so why don't we go ahead and jump right into stage four. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.